you guys see me doing this book vlog. It's more secure on the right side. The irony of is that life is actually more secure on the right side. The cash flow quadrant. For example, if you have a secure system that produces more and more money with less and less work, then you really don't need a job or need to worry about losing your job. To take more money, simply expand the system and hire more people. Robert applies the same principle when he teaches about expanding your your means rather than living below your means. Living below your means crushes the spirit. And Robert has always looked to ways to expand his means so uh, Robert can enjoy all that life has to offer. People who are high level investors can't aren't aren't concerned about the market going up or down because their knowledge allows them to make money easier way. If there's a market crash and or a depression in the next 30 years, may, many baby boomers will panic and lose much of the money they had set aside for retirement. If that happens in their old age and so retiring, they'll have to work for as long as they can. <laughs> Professional investors are people who risk little of their own money, and yet still make the highest return. The people who know little about investing and take the risk and, and earn the least return. From Robert's point of view, all the risk is on the left side of the cash flow quadrant. So basically, um, if you're like a smart investor, like if you have a lot of knowledge and you take the risk, then you're gonna you're gonna get the most return. But if you're you don't have knowledge and you take a risk, you're gonna get the least return. So and also like. Um, living below your means crushes your spirit, and um, for some, uh, like if the market is bad, then a lot of people like the money they save for retirement to like use it. If they're in their old age, then they'll have to keep working. So yeah, that's it. Nice subscribe. Bye.